Hello everyone, this is me, Tony, aka 22 Tiger Dude. I am here with my awesome guest stars. Justin from Justin Watches Movies. And WWE Fan 05 from WWE 0599. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the three of us are reuniting together because if you guys watched it, the three of us came together to tell our predictions for the Academy Awards 2015. And now that the Academy Awards has come and gone, overall we're going to count our predictions. And the way this is going to go is that this is like a little competition we're going to see whoever gets the most votes, and whoever gets the most votes, well, we're going to tell you all that at the end. But now, let's go ahead and start off with Best Actor. And my prediction was right. I got Eddie Redmayne right. What about you guys? I went with um, Michael Keaton, so eh, wrong for me. <laughs> One wrong. One wrong for me, I, I voted for Michael Keaton as well. I thought he was winning this thing, and he should have, but, you know. So, I'm the only one that got Best Actor, right? Okay, then, so now we go into Best Actress. So, for Best Actress, um, I predicted Julianne Moore from Still Alice will win, and I was right. Uh, she won Best Actress, so, bing. Same here. Bing. Same here. I vote for Julianne Moore as well, so, 1-1. One, one. All right, it's a threesome right there. Oh, fuck, I don't even know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep that in. All right. <clears throat> So now for Best Supporting Actor, I mean, <clears throat> the three of us, can we just say it together? We got this one. Right. It was right. J.K. the Man Simmons. Yeah, I mean, it's no surprise. Uh, the three of us uh, predicted J.K. Simmons, so the three of us, we all got this right. <laughs> Now let's go on to Best Supporting Actress. I predicted that Patricia Arquette from Boyhood was going to win, and I, the tiger dude, was freaking right. I, the man who watches movies, was right. <laughs> I, I, the man that is the fan of WWE, was right as well, so 3-1. Nice. Now we go on to, ooh, Best Director. So for Best Director, I predicted that Alejandro González Inarritu from Birdman would win, and I was correct on that one. I was wrong. I picked Richard Linklater for his hard work over 12 years um, for Boyhood, and I would like to say congratulations, Tony, for a good pronunciation of his name, which I cannot do yet. <laughs> Trust me, uh, it, it took practice trying to pronounce that. I really did. <laughs> took me forever to pronounce to tell Edgy of four. Oh, me too, man. <laughs> and then you, W? And I got this one right as well because I also predicted Alejandro Gonzalez in your two as well. Now we go into the category I adore a lot, Best Animated Feature. <clears throat> so, this one is kind of a one that took a real twist of real on me. I'm not going to mm -hmm. like there. So for Best Animated Feature, I predicted that How to Train Your Dragon 2 was going to win, but uh, I was wrong. Big Hero 6 actually won, and that was actually the anime movie I wanted to win more over others, but because of the praise How Trainer Dragon 2 was getting, that's why I ended up predicting that one instead of for Big Hero 6. I am happy Big Hero 6 won, congratulations, but I would have been happier if I went with my gut and predicted Big Hero 6. You, Justin? Same. I mean, Big Hero 6 out of all those was the best one, in my opinion. I agree. Um, but I was just going with the buzz, the critics' reviews for How to Train Your Dragon. Same here. 
And then UW, um, did you get this one wrong or right? Uh, well, I got this one wrong. And I'm very, very sad that I got this one wrong because I had so much faith in Had Trainer Dragon 2. That was my favorite anime film of last year. Such a great film. But it lost to Big Hero 6. Mm. But I got it wrong, so 4 to 2. Okay, now we go into uh, Best Adapted Screenplay. So for this one, I predicted that Whiplash would win. But surprisingly, I was shocked, very shocked by this, but the Imitation Game is actually the one that wins Best Adapted Screenplay. So yeah, I wanted Whiplash to win, but oh well, Imitation Game was still a really good movie nonetheless. What about you, Justin? Did you get this one right or wrong? Correct. Ah, oh, so jealous of you. But hey, you went with your gut there, man. Congrats. Seriously, the Imitation Game was the last movie I thought was going to win this one. So great job, man. Good call on that. Then UW? Well, I'm sadly to say that I got this one wrong. I voted for the theory of everything to actually win this award for Best Adapted Screenplay, but the Imitation Game won. So yeah, four to three. So now we go into best original screenplay, and <clears throat> oh man, I am so stupid. I have no idea why I never even went with this. For this one, because you know the screenplay for this one was so good. Some I, I was going with my gut with Nightcrawler, but you know I should have known the Oscars were gonna pick Birdman, which I am happy about because I freaking love Birdman. Uh, I thought it was a better movie than Nightcrawler, in my opinion. But you know, uh, I would think at least Nightcrawler would take this one. But oh well, uh, I got this one eh, wrong. I got I picked Birdman. Kind of that one right. UW? Well, I got this one right as well. Even though I disagree with Tony, I think Nightcrawler's better than Birdman, but the screenplay for Birdman was great, and I knew the Academy was going with, with Birdman, so I did get this one right. Five to three. Now we go into Best Cinematography. So, for Best Cinematography, I was hoping this one would win. I'm glad it won. I predicted that Birdman was going to win Best Cinematography, and damn it, I was right. And I'm happy about it, too. Same here, Birdman. Great cinematography. Um, same here as well, Birdman. Glad it won 6-3. to three. Nice. So now we go into best visual effects. Once again, one I predicted, one that I'm so happy it won, Interstellar. I predicted it would win, and it definitely won best visual effects. In my opinion, it was so well deserved. So yeah, I was correct on this one. Me too. Uh, not really any competition there. Yeah. Well, this is where I disagree with you on that, Justin, because the movie that I think should have won for best visual effects was Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. But, sadly, it didn't. So, I got this one wrong, 6-4. to four. And now we go into the category we all had to try our hardest on. That would be best documentary feature. I already know who won this one, but me, I predicted Finding Vivian Mayer, and it was actually Citizen Four that won this one. So I got this one eh, wrong. I picked uh, Citizen Four and I got it right because that's the only one I think I've really heard of. So that I was just going with what I heard. Nice, and it, and you ended up winning this one because of that. Nice. And then UW? Well, I got this one wrong because I said last days in Vietnam was going to win, so <clears throat> six to five. Now let's go into best doctor blah. Best documentary short subject. I predicted that the Reaper was gonna win, but eh, wrong. It was actually Crisis Hotline Veterans Press 1 that actually won this category. I picked the same as you and got it wrong. 
and I picked White Earth, so I got this one wrong, 6-6. Six, six. So I guess the three of us can be sad together. Yes. Now we go into Best Film Editing. I predicted Whiplash would win, and I was, thank goodness, correct on that. I was not. I said Boyhood, and I got that wrong, so 6-7. to seven. I picked Boyhood. Best Original Song. So I predicted everything is awesome was going to win, but everything is not so awesome because I got this one wrong. It was actually Glory from Selma that won, in which it was a really good song. I just would prefer that either Lost Stars from Begin Again won or Everything is Awesome from Lego Movie won. At least one of those two nominees, in my opinion. I mean, I want uh, Everything to Awesome to win because of, you know, the Oscars snubbing the Lego Movie in general, but it didn't win, and I picked Everything is Awesome, but Glory won, so... No point for me. And you, W? Um, I got this right. I said Glory, so I'm glad it won because it is a great song in my opinion, and I'm glad it won, so 7-7 seven, seven now. Now we go into Best Production Design. I predicted the Grand Budapest Hotel would win, and I was, thank goodness, right. I got this one right. Me too. Uh, really great design for his movie. I agree. Well, well I got this one, one right as well, so 8 to 7. Yay, so that means we all get three thumbs up. That's one thumbs I'm up for each of us. <laughs> Now we go into best live action short film. I predicted that Aya was going to win, but nope, it was actually the phone call, in which, yeah, I was actually surprised, but yeah. So this one was up for me. For me. <laughs> for me, I said Boogaloo and Graham, so 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> And um, you guys only um, predicted on that one because you thought the title sounded funny. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yes. <laughs> now we go into Best Animated Feature. I predicted Feast was going to win, and it won. It's the only short I know that's in this category, and who would have known that out of all the shorts that I'm only familiar with, it would be Feast. So congratulations. Very beautiful uh, animated short, um, and it deserves its win. I predicted it, I predict it, it as well. Nice. Um, I did not predict Feast. I predicted the bigger picture, so I got this one wrong, 8 to 9. We go into Best Sound Editing. I actually predicted Birdman was going to win this one, but it was actually American Sniper. But this one, it was, yeah. Yeah, American Sniper. I was surprised with that. But when I looked at it, I was like, eh, it's, it's pretty good sound mixing around. So I picked uh, Birdman. I got sound editing wrong because I picked Interstellar because Interstellar had some great sound editing. So I got this one wrong, 8 to 10. Now, I am pissed off because for sound mixing, I actually predicted American Sniper. Yeah, it wins editing, but not mixing. So if I would have predicted the other way around, I would have been good. Editing, I predicted Birdman, but American okay. Sniper won this one. And then for okay, sound, sound editing, mixing, was American Sniper. I picked uh, Whiplash for sound mixing and Birdman for sound editing. Whiplash is the one that won for sound mixing. There you go. Okay. Just want to make I sure that one can But for this one, I did the American Sniper, so I was wrong for sound mixing. Okay. Yeah. Well, indeed, I was right with sound mixing. I said Whiplash, so yeah, nine ten. Good job.
All right, now we go into best costume design. Uh, I got this one wrong. I predicted that Into the Woods would get it. I just thought maybe for some reason the Oscars would get it. But I'm not surprised, and I'm glad it won. The Grand Budapest Hotel won, but this one's a big old fart for me. Costume design. I got that one right with uh, Grand Budapest Hotel, right? Nice. UW? And oh, costume you... design. I picked Into the Woods. Never mind. Okay, okay. So me and you were wrong on this one, right? Yeah. Well, well, guess who got it right? Well, I got right. So you did. You. I got right. I said the Grand Budapest Hotel. So ten to ten. So now we go into best foreign language film. So for this one, I predicted Ida from Poland was going to win, and I was correct. A big thumbs up for me on this one. Me too. Me too as well, 11 to 10. Nice. So I think that gives us a, oh, hell yeah. That was awesome. So now we go into... Best makeup and hairstyling, the only category that for some reason has three nominees instead of five, but oh well, right? I predicted the Grand Budapest Hotel and it won. So I got the I picked the same one. Nice. You did well, well, this guy got it wrong. I picked Guardians of the Galaxy and I got it wrong. So ten to eleven. <laughs> And now we go into the category that really pissed me off the most about the Oscars. Best Original Score. Okay, so I predicted Interstellar because in my opinion, it is the best original score I've heard in 2014. Uh, so I would think the Oscars would go for him, but surprisingly, they went with the Grand Budapest Hotel, Alexander Displat, which was also a really good score, so I really can't complain about that winning. But I was just hoping Interstellar would win. So this one, sadly, I got best original score wrong. I got it wrong as well. Uh, I ended up picking the theory of everything. So, and, and which then, was very cool. And this guy got it wrong as well because I picked Interstellar as well. So, yeah. So I guess the three of us once again can be set together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now we go into the finale of all finales. That would be best picture of the year. I predicted that Boyhood was going to win because the I predicted based on what the Academy was going to do in terms of filmmaking. But actually they went with Birdman, which... I'm happy. I just would have been happier if I went with my gut and went with Birdman instead. But seriously, congratulations to Birdman, but I did get Best Picture wrong. I got it wrong as well. Uh, I ended up picking Boyhood um, just with the buzz of everything that was going around. But Boyhood was also, or Birdman was also very deserving. So. Yeah. But then I know there is one person that got Best Picture right, and that one person is what the rock is cooking yep, uh, you, but, you predicted birdman right yes i indeed predicted birdman i said that's the one that the academy was going to go with and i was right so 12 to 12 boom Justin, why don't you give them yours, then UW, and then um, I'll give my total of how many I got right and wrong. Mine was 14. I got 12 right and 12 wrong. And then guess what, people? Same as W. I also got 12 out of 24 right. So here's what me and Justin were actually deciding through Facebook how we're going to do this. The first place winner which is Justin over here. Congrats, Justin, for winning this. He's going to choose a Best Picture nominee or winner of his choice to review for his channel. 
the second place winner is going to choose a movie that he at least enjoys, loves or enjoys, but everyone else hates. And then the third place winner would have reviewed, yes, no joke people, a Barbie movie. If you were in final place, you would have to suffer through watching a Barbie movie and reviewing a Barbie movie. But since me and WWE are tied, thank goodness we really dodged that bullet. We're both in second place, and we both get to decide what movie that we like that everyone else hates to review for our channel. Subscribe to WWE Fans Channel, Justin Watches Movies Channel. So everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude, along with my guests. Justin w Watches Movies. And WWE Fan 05 Nana. And don't forget that the three of us will always have punch you in your beautiful faces. Not mine. <laughs>